course I saw her leave. <laughs> He's gonna pay for this because we got the glitter and we're ready to do business. All we need is the merchandise. His Royal Highness is gonna be pleased. We're gonna make contact later. Listen, I know you're upset, but these things happen sometimes, you know. James was supposed to drive her, but at the last minute she changed her mind and decided to drive herself. I totally understand, but it wasn't done on purpose. It was just a change of plans. Are you feeling better now? Goodness gracious. Look, I have to go. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Absolutely. Goodbye. Fred, how are you doing? I got the glitter. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm impressed. Congratulations. Well, I know they say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but... For what? Come on, Fred, do you think I'd forget you? Damn. Maybe you got what I want. Woman, I got what you need. Maybe you got what you want. Maybe you got what I need. mistake as last year by giving away too much and then coming up short. So remember, two items only. Thanks, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Marty. You sound like you're in a good mood. Yes, another beautiful day in paradise. Absolutely. This just arrived for you by courier. It's coded for your eyes only. These are the reports you asked for, and this is your correspondence. You've got mail from London, U.S., Canada, Colombia, and Jamaica. Perfect. Thanks very much. Right then. If you don't need me for anything else, I'm going to head off to the embassy office. Marty, that's fine. You have yourself a good afternoon. I will. See you later. Bye. You and your damn lavish parties. You're attracting too much attention. You have to cut out this ostentatious lifestyle that you're living. My lifestyle is my own business. And I thank you and your friends to stick to yours. Cedric, I have told you time and time again. The people in this business that survive are the ones that keep a low profile. Rubbish. 
you seem to forget that I am an ambassador. Who do you think you're dealing with? Sir Cedric. The cemetery is full of ambassadors. I really have been considering retiring. <laughs> retiring? You have prospered with my friends. You've had a fantastic lifestyle. They have done well with you. Do you think that you have a choice in this matter? You retire when they decide you retire. Do we have an understanding? You may leave now. I'll leave. But I will also remind you about who your friends are. Don't you forget. Are you going to count it? Of course not. I'm dealing with a lady. You should not have to. Thank you. We won't have any further contact until both matters have been resolved. Thank you. Good evening. said it was urgent. What's going on? I've been asked to steal the files on Cedric from his lawyer's office. By whom? None other than Lady Williamson herself. Lady Williamson? She wants me to steal the files and then replace them in three days. So she wants you to break in and put them back? That's what the lady wants. She wants it done clean so that nobody will ever know that the fells were gone or that they came back. Okay. Okay, listen to me very carefully. You are going to get those files. Copy them. And when you get those files back from her, I have to see them. You personally, no one else, no one can know about this. Do you understand? Are you clear on that? I understand. Thank you. Go 26. When I tell you that the fish on the east coast are hungry. Deep six in. Yes, make a deposit. It's all there. 
Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. collection? Paris. We love Paris this time of year. The fashions are lovely. Will you be seeing any special friends on your trip? What do you mean by that? Well, you must have some special friend you want to see. The odd designer, I suppose. I haven't really made any plans. I may see them. I may not. My special friend. Good morning, my dear. How are you on this beautiful day? Well, she's off to Paris, spending a lot of money and seeing her special friend. So we have some wonderful time together. I am looking forward to it. Say in about an hour or so. I'm just going to have the usual. Certainly. Thank you very much. This indeed is a surprise. Are you visiting? No, actually, I live here. In my little piece of heaven. Mm. It is beautiful. It is most definitely beautiful. Where is Cedric? Cedric? <laughs> oh no, this is my little escape. Cedric's entire universe is at Seaview. You wouldn't dare come out this far. You wouldn't dream of it. Well, that's a shame indeed. Hmm. Aren't you supposed to be in Paris? Who told you that? Barbados is a very small island. Is it ever? Everyone seems to know everybody else's business. No, I was going to go to Paris. I needed a break. But you see, with everything that's going on, I figured it was safer to stay a little closer to home, just in case, you know. Has Cedric been very busy? Shouldn't you know? I thought business partners spent all their time together conducting business. Perhaps we should. Lady Williamson, perhaps I misjudged you. Maybe there are certain business matters that we need to discuss. That said, I've been thinking of maybe trying a bit of something on my own. Well, we should definitely talk. Why don't you take my card? My personal number is on the back. Why don't you give me a call and we can talk? Thank you, Alan. Maybe we should have lunch together sometime. I think perhaps we should. I would enjoy that. So would I. Sorry, I shouldn't have put the gun in your face, but I had to make certain that everybody understands exactly how serious this is. Willie, you know I would never really do anything to hurt you. 
Come on, baby. I've, I've always shared my money, my food, everything with you, man. Come on. I've never in my life done anything to seriously hurt or injure anyone. So I've stolen a few small things, but no one got hurt. You, you've always been the one to hurt people. I should never listen to you. Truly, really, I've always shielded you. I've cared for you and treated you like you were my own brother. I've always looked out for you. So that if anything, you, know, you got lots of no job. And worst of all, you have a gun. Whoever I've ever stolen from could afford it. I've never stolen from anybody who had less than me. You could even say that I'm a I'm a black Robin Hood. I don't care how you put it. I have a bad feeling about this. Way down in my guts. I really don't want no part of this. Okay, okay, you win. I give you my word. After this Williamson job, that's it. Absolutely straight. You really mean that? Of course. I give you my word, Willie. No is as good as any other. Willie, you stay here. Let's go. Hello, my dear. Hi, Cedric. How come the gate is open? Because I left it open. But why? Because the workmen are delivering materials for the party tonight. I don't want to have to be getting up every ten minutes. Where's Angus? He's not here. Cynthia? She's not here. Where are all the servants? I gave them the rest of the day off. But why? So they can get ready for the party tonight. All at the same time? Yes. Cedric, you are going to be the death. At least we're together, my dear. Something is wrong. Both gates are open. This seems way too easy. This is an idiot. This is my plan. I'll do the thinking. There's nothing wrong. Now. Come on. Honey. Cedric. Cedric? What is the matter? Can't you hear them? Hear what? The birds. They're making a terrible racket. I don't hear anything. <laughs> All right. I'll go take a look. They are acting strange. Hey, you! What are you doing? Get out of here! Let's go out for help. Help! The man is dead, Willie. Come on, let's go. 
Oh, you want to join in? Go, man. Come on. You got to go. And, uh, and I ran to find Cedric, I guess. Okay, and what did you see or hear? The birds first. They're making this, this horrible, dreadful racket, and they just kept screaming and screaming. And I ran, and, and I came around the corner, and oh, God. And the blood... So you heard the birds, you found your husband in blood, and then what did you see or hear? There were these men. How many? Three, three men. Three men. And they were running. Running. Okay. Running away. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Here, 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 here. Um, three men running away. Can you tell me, please, can you remember anything either of those three men were wearing? Oh, no. Nothing. I was so scared. Yes, yes. I didn't know what to do. Mm hmm. That was so terrible. I don't know. You can't remember anything of what they were wearing. No. Okay. Thank you. Sir? Thank uh, you, Lady Williamson. Yes. Would you mind excusing me for one moment, please? By all means. What do we have here? It appears to be a rather unusual type of capture, sir. Yeah. Lady? You had a good look at Lady Williamson? Great in black. Not talking about the way the lady looks in black. I'm talking about the way she's behaving. I have seen a lot of women who've lost their husbands, and she's not behaving in character. Anyhow, let me see what you got there. It appears to be a peculiar type of cactus, sir. I remember these. I recognize these from my training overseas. Blizzy, this is a 7.65 cartridge out of a 25 millimeter Tokarev. This is a cartridge from a Soviet made. Sidearm. Our young assassins have a very peculiar taste in firearms. Or maybe a rather peculiar taste in friends, sir.
is so much that I want to tell you. For a while it was wonderful, and now... I don't know. Life will be wonderful again. Life is meant to be enjoyed. We have to make the most of it. I suppose you're right. Especially when it's shared by two people who enjoy each other's company. I just know what I want in life, and I've learned how to enjoy life. But what I do promise you is that you will know everything there is to know. And when you do, you'll be pleasantly surprised. I hope I am. You will be. So? I know so. Sit down, girl. Wearing up the floor is not going to help the situation. We are now in a hell of a situation. Especially now that His Highness is dead. We gotta do something. Raymond Martinson going to see you with a gun? His job was to rob the place, not kill His Highness. His job was to get the jewelry and split. Unless there's more to it than we know. Like what? There were other people who were getting upset with Cedric. Perhaps we're not informed. Nonsense. Look, if, the, if, if, if there was anything Cedric, Cedric would have told me. I, I know he would have. But you know, I just keep seeing Alan Blaine's face in my mind. I never trusted him. Look, you are forgetting one very important what point, man. You brought him into the organization. You wanted him. I wanted no part of him. Look, my main worry is if they find those foreign made bullets. Don't worry about it. The police around here, they're not gonna dig that. I hope so. Because if they start digging, we are in shit. Look, relax. Just, just relax. They can't tie us to this. It's His Highness who did the money laundering. All right? I mean, take me. I, I, I am just a chauffeur. Huh? We were the couriers. When it comes to money laundering, we are all involved. We're involved up to our necks. I really miss His Highness, yeah. He was a very unselfish, warm, and caring person. I mean, he would share anything with almost anyone. I've never really met anyone quite like him. Yeah, he, he was special. And he really loved me. You know, some people say that they love you. And they really don't, but he really did. He said he had something extraordinarily special just for me. It was like a premonition before his death. But now I don't think I'll ever know what he meant. <laughs> he was a very smart man. I mean, how we managed to launder all that money. to hear you laugh again. It's been so long, dear. It's been quite the month, hasn't it? And you can say that again. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I don't know. What is it? What's wrong? Oh, God. The, um, the three men charged in the brutal 
martyr of Sir Cedric Williamson made a daring dash for freedom when they uh, appeared at the magistrate's court yesterday. Reports indicate that the three men, in a carefully well-timed plan, knocked over their guards immediately after being released from their handcuffs as they entered the courtroom. Catching everyone by surprise, the three men darted off in different directions. The men, Raymond Martison, Sean Joseph, and Willie Brown, are standing trial of the murder that sent shockwaves around the world. In a speedy, coordinated plan, the police later apprehended two of the men. Emma Martin and Sean Joseph that there's been no sign of the third man, Willie Brown. The police, assisted by members of the defense force, have stepped up the search for the escaped fugitives. Oh, God. I don't believe this. Oh, God. How could this happen? How could they get away? Oh, God. Marty, I can't go through this again. I know, Sarah, I know. Bartender, excuse me. Have you got a pair of my numbers so I can lose? Certainly. Oh, fine. Thanks a lot. Commander. We've got Willie. Willie? Are you absolutely sure? Where are you now? I'm on the balcony of uh, Long Beach Hotel. I'll be there in less than a minute. Okay. Slide and evaded police for nearly two years. Mr. Brown, welcome. It's nice having you here. <laughs> Unlike the other officers, I don't believe that you're a really bad guy. So tell me, how did you get mixed up in the ambassador's murder? Madison told us it was a simple robbery, and I was to be the lookout man at the gate. A simple robbery? Yes. That gun. Who had the gun? Madison. I told him that I was scared of guns. I don't like guns. Why didn't you just say no and walk away? Were you scared of Madison? Yes. What happened then? Madison had the other guys fought to the ambassador. And then? I saw Madison pull out the gun. And he shot the ambassador. <sighs> and I ran. To help the ambassador. I wanted to call for help. Madison caught the gun and 
cualquiera de mis fees. He said the man is dead. And I didn't want to join him. So what happened next? I really believe that he was going to shoot me. Really? Are you telling me the truth? Brown trial today. A large crowd and tight security are expected around number three Supreme Court this morning when Mr. Justice Monty Kirkman gives his submission in the Willie Brown murder case. Man, they're talking about really paper. <laughs> After the submission, the jury of nine men and three women will deliberate and hopefully return with a verdict in this historic case, historic, which is being tried three years after the killing. Check this in. Willie Joseph Brown, whose last address was Rock Hall, St. Thomas, is charged with murdering Ambassador Sir Cedric Williamson, Williamson, sometime between October 15th and 16th, three years ago. Unlike most murder accused, Willie Brown will still have to return to the Station View Prison, regardless of the result in this case. If, if he is acquitted, I don't know who they're fooling, we got him, right? If, it says here, he is acquitted of the Williamson murder, he will be remanded to Station View to face charges of escaping custody in March of the following year during the preliminary trial of the case for which he is now being charged. Now, that is writing about us in this paper. Today, you know what? Talk to me. I still have a very funny feeling about all this. Listen, I feel the very same way. I am of the opinion that whatever happens in this case, whatever happens, we have not seen or heard the last of the world. Not the wife, just a feeling deep within me. It's funny. 
correct thing the very same way too. So wait. You feel one way and you feel the same way too. Well, I know how I feel and I am telling you. <laughs> Look guys, we've worked over three years on this thing. The paper says if he's acquitted. We don't do lousy work in the Caribbean. Excuse me a minute. Hello? This is the commander. How can I help? Go ahead, sir. Yes. Really? Is that right? Well, thank you very much. Uh, give me a call anytime. Good talking to you, sir. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Gentlemen. <coughs> the jury has spoken. They have found Billy Brown guilty. He's been sentenced to hang. Fantastic. Hit me, guys. Fantastic. All the hard work at all. That's right. We don't do lousy work in the Caribbean. Amen. Tell me more about that call you had late last night. Well, it seems like one of Billy Brown's relatives got into a squabble over a drug deal. So what happened? Well, the guy tried to call and tell the police where Billy Brown is. I don't care what everybody says. Billy Brown is not in Barbados. I got a feeling he's somewhere in St. Vincent or Guyana. He has relatives over there. The guy said that some mornings he goes for an early morning swim at Long Beach. Goes for early morning swim at Long Beach? Man, that fella got balls. We got policemen looking all over the place for him. And he goes swimming at Long Beach. Cool it, guys. Get down. We might have something here. Is it really brown? Cool it, I don't know. It just may be. Okay, let's go. What the hell is happening here? Police! The police! Bastard! We got him, we got him! You're under arrest, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown? 
them hashish pots. Hashish pots? What a name. <laughs> <laughs> hashish pots. You are really brown. Not hashish, nor pots. You are under arrest. Under arrest? Yes, sir. But I'm hashish pots. Really brown. Hashish pots. <laughs> ah, hashish pots. I really don't care what your name is. I want some answers. I want a mouth. And I want a glass. Where is your murdering brother? Silent type. Get up! Mind ask your question, Skibber? Thank you. I didn't hear an answer. Did Say something, bastard! You? Not a word. You know something? I can do this all day. I'm going to pay it all the time. I lost you one more time. One more time. Hey. Where is your murdering brother? Damn it. Get up, my lefty down there. Simply tell us what we need to know, and all of this unpleasantness could be avoided. It's as simple as that. Give us the information that we need. What is difficult about that? We do not like doing this to you, but your brother is making a monkey out of all of us, and we don't like it, no a little bit. So tell us what we need to know. Where? Is your murdering brother? You ready to talk now? Good. See? This could be so easy. I have no proof, but I, I think some of the locals are giving him help. 
and them not show respect. Well, living off the bloods of the youths, uh, uh-huh. hey, they give we guns so we shoot down. To shoot down we own bread and man for a lick a piece of money from them hand. So we now want a tribal war. How old is Kali a friend of his soul? Yeah, I know he's one of them, but after all that said, we're good for them. Really? I know. It's just frustrating. I've had, I've had enough. It's time. I'm going to use some of my own contacts to get this figured out. Good morning. I'm sure we have all previously expressed our sorrow at the passing of Sir Cedric. I personally have lost a great friend whom I shall always remember fondly. However, we shall get on with the business at hand. Most of us know each other, but perhaps I shall introduce Miss Francina Dunley, who is important to these proceedings. There are several requests to various organizations, such as the Red Cross, the Cancer Society, and others. I shall not bother you with all the details, for I'm sure your interest here is on other matters. So I will therefore proceed. I trust everyone agrees. To my wonderful staff, who have served me well over the years, I am making a special educational grant for the education of your children, present children, that is present children they have now. In addition, each of you will have £15,000 each for full employment at Seaview. The next request is one that makes me very happy. To my trusted valet and most careful driver, James, whose loyalty, discretion and thoughtfulness over the years cannot ever be repaid. I want him to know that his services and loyalty were exemplary. I trust that £50,000 plus guest house number two will suffice. (laughs) To my wife, Lady Williamson, my beautiful, charming, extravagant and unfaithful partner, I'm faithfully new. I've always been aware of your indiscretions, but I will not make them public. To you, I trust your ponchon for the finest and for me will not be your daughter. I leave you your Morgan Chateau and all the furnishings as well as your collection. The Drury Mausoleum. <laughs> the unsaleable, unprofitable, unheatable castle. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? <sighs> Lady Williamson, this is the last will and testament of Sir Cedric Williamson and his wishes must be respected. Do I make myself clear? This is a dignified meeting. The matter is far from over. Damn right it's far from over. To continue, in addition to the chateau, my attorneys will ensure that you will be adequately supported for life. That is, if you do not remarry. If you do remarry, the support payments will cease. But I'm a young woman. (laughs) He's dead. can't control me now that he's gone. He couldn't control me while he was alive. I'm a young woman. Does he expect me to remain single for the rest of my life? One more burst from you, Lady Williamson, and I will have you removed from this room. I hope I have made myself clear. I'm surprised at your lack of control. I don't care what you think of my behavior. To continue, I know that you, Sarah, my dear wife, will be in a rage. But to console you, I'm leaving you the Rolls Royce. The Rolls Royce? A car. I already have a car. In fact, I already have a Rolls Royce. No one cares about the car. What about Seaview? Get on with it. Who gets Seaview? Oh, God, Seaview. It's her, isn't it? The bitch. She was sleeping with my husband, wasn't she? You have some nerve, Lady Williamson, calling people names, you and your indiscretions. My indiscretions? You are nothing but an overpaid servant, so get on with it. See you. Who gets see you? Sit down, Lady Williamson. One more burst from you. 
and I shall have you removed from this room. This is a dignified proceeding. Do I make myself clear? Get on with it. To my wonderful and devoted companion, whose love, compassion, and caring made my life most enjoyable, and to one whom I would call upon at any time, I leave Sidhu, the Jaguar, and an undisclosed sum of money to Miss Francina Dunn. My attorneys have my instructions. He was my husband. After all I gave to him, after all I went through for him, and you... Don't you think that I don't know this was all your idea? You were his friend, his confidant. You led him to this. No, both of you, this is far from over. When my lawyers are finished with you, you will both regret the day you ever met Cedric Williamson. Every tourist in the world is on the island, Fukuduma, and they must be protected. Definitely, sir. Along with our locals, okay? Oh, yeah. All right. The locals, especially the majority of them, are having fun. And they are there to have fun. You also have the deviants, the idiots, and they will be out there in full force. We have to protect the tourists. Wouldn't it be great if we had a trouble-free, no-incident pandemic? Huh? That would be excellent, I tell you. And it wouldn't, wouldn't it be even better if we caught really brown to top it off? Oh boy, jackpot, sir. Jackpot, indeed. They say miracles do happen. And I'm hoping for one today.
checked everything. Sir. You're welcome. Take care of yourself. You too. Take, have a nice trip. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, we really have to go. Listen, this is this is the deal. I'm I'm gonna stay behind. And I'll join you in Washington in one week. And I'm just gonna tie up some loose ends here. All the hard work, all the time, all the energy, he's gone. I can feel it. I know it. He's gone, man. I don't want to talk about it. Just, just, just leave it alone. Nothing like that. Whatever. Long, long, no ships on the sea. About you and your intentions, about the way we were to be. You never call back, you never, never call back. But you're all that you know how to feel that. You were much too strong for me. I'm just a go to girl when you broke, when you feel bad. Now you expect me to be one place at all times Just fall back and never could see that With the legs back and you in between that You had it coming
like you the man Now you straight up call me a hooligan Got me coming right back like a boomerang Thinking about when I hit that booty tank Dang, you ought to come by You don't miss the well till the water